What's up ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk to you guys about the top 5 best utility applications from for your Wear device. Now if you guys take a look, I have good old Wear Mini Launcher right here and this is number 1 on the list. It allows for a very convenient way to not only access all the applications on your device, not only customize the drawer itself, but get access to a bunch of toggles, for example a brightness slider, the battery on your watch and the battery on your phone, and of course you can turn off Wi-Fi, vibrations, sound, and of course lock your phone, so on and so forth. It's very, very convenient and one of my favorite utility applications for Android Wear as a whole. Alright, next off is of course Wear Compass, and this allows you to have a compass on your device. Now, it doesn't show the entire compass, which personally I actually find very, very good since I can see the individual degrees, and when you're pointing south, which we more or less are, you can see that north, west, so on and so forth, and there of course at the bottom is your degrees. Now, if I turn this, there you go. The compass works very, very well. How awesome is that? Very simple application, but very, very convenient in case you're going on, I don't know, a hiking trail, something along those lines. Alright guys, the next one is known as CalcWare. It's a very, very simple application, and yet there's so much that goes into it. So of course, this application isn't just one application when it comes to calculators. It comes with four different types of calculators. Oh, wait, never mind. Five different types of calculators built directly into your Wear device. How cool is that? So I'm going to cl click on basic uh, calculator for now, but there is a graphing calculator and a scientific one. Uh, I don't know, whatever it said on the previous screen, but it's be very, very basic. Of course, the main part of this application is to be able to do very simple computations on your own. So 553 divided by, I don't know, 8, so on and so forth. It's super simplistic and very, very convenient. The most convenient part that I found about having a smartwatch is having those utilities on your wrist rather than on your phone, being able to activate things like flash, being able to turn off Bluetooth, and finally being able to do simple math and even, I don't know, check which direction you're going, going in is super, super convenient on a watch rather than than pulling out your phone. It's all about time saving. All right, number four on our list is around here somewhere. I will find it in just a second. Scrolling down, down, there it is. Stay lit. Now this one is for Android Wear devices specifically. So a thing that I found when I first got the Android Wear device is that I wanted to keep it on forever. It turned out to be a very bad idea, but for some reason I wanted it to. And this allows you to do that. You can have your smartwatch stay on indefinitely. I really, on the first like five days, I really wanted to show off all the cool Batman watch faces and stuff that I found. I don't know, there was a Rolex one. I wanted to show all those off and not have people ask me too many questions on whether that's a smartwatch, why does your watch have a face, and so on and so forth. So I kept it on indefinitely. Did it die in like five hours? Yeah, pretty much. So I later changed it to about 15 seconds. That ended up being just enough for me to glance at things without the screen turning off before I'm finished with whatever I'm doing. You guys can change it to whatever you want. It goes from everything from, I believe, five seconds to, well, forever. Five minutes is the longest and it's more or less to save battery. All right, taking a look at our last application. Cool application that I found is Wear Task Killer. I believe that is the name, but if you just search in, uh, in Google Play, Android Wear Task Manager or something along those lines, this should pop up. And basically it allows you to get rid of certain running applications in that are running in the background and not only killing battery, but of course just wasting the speed and efficiency of your device. So if you want to get rid of, you can't get rid of Android Wear itself, but say that random game right there is running or say a bunch of things are running, you can actually close all the things that are taking up RAM on your device simultaneously or you can turn that off, turn them off individually now I wish Android Wear had this as a feature built directly into the settings but it doesn't so this app gets the job done although this was supposed to be a top 5 yeah, at first I decided that I'm turning it into a top 10 instead and of course number 6 on our list is calendar right here it's known as calendar for wear it's very very simple maintains material design and you can basically scroll through all the months check the date check what dates are coming up, coming up based on what dates they are on and simply swiping down allows you to go through the rest of the year um, there's June there's July so on and so forth very very simple and yet very very convenient now if I were to go ahead and click on the day you can actually check what events are on there and if you pay for it you can add certain events I'm of course on the free version I would never pay for a calendar but 
that's just me. Number six is crucial to anyone who has a battery. So if the Moto 360 or LG G Watch, whatever you have currently, is dying very fast, you guys can actually track uh, not what's killing it exactly, but when it's dying. So maybe you can actually find out which applications are killing its battery. And as you can see right there, um, I had it go from 100% maintain stability and then actually go up a little bit. Don't know how that works, but apparently it went up a little bit. And then it just dropped. Uh, flattened out just a tiny bit and then dropped again and then flattened out just a tiny bit and now it's dropping again And my battery is actually about to die So that's kind of depressing, but it's a good way to track battery usage and if you click on it It does tell you how long it will take for it to be fully dis discharged So uh, it tells you the time and military time uh, I'm pretty sure you could probably change that in the settings of this application But of course it will die in 35 minutes Which isn't too bad for something that's gotten me through the entire day and now I'm making videos out of it uh, number eight on the list is of course hand dialer it allows you to have a dialer your contacts and a speed dial directly built onto your smartwatch now if your smartwatch has a speaker built into it you're basically set you can turn into iron man however if it doesn't then you'll have to kind of use your phone as a speaker to actually hear what the per person's saying but at the same time you can use this to actually chat in and use it as a mic so that should be pretty cool not to mention the fact that you can dial from here instead of having to dial from your phone and finally, number nine, well not finally, we have two more applications to go. This one is known as Wear Audio Recorder, or just Audio Recorder, it depends on what it is in the Google Play Store, I'll leave a link below. Regardless, this allows you to record your voice onto uh, directly onto your phone, and then actually be able to see what they are. If you click on the little eye right here, you can change the name, and of course see how big it is. And it's really, really convenient since you can tweak around the audio quality that you're recording at, and how much space it's taking up, where it's located. As a matter of fact, you can actually have this record and then send over to your phone via Bluetooth and then have your phone sync with, I don't know, 3G or Wi-Fi directly onto Google Drive and all your audio recordings will be in a certain folder on Google Drive accessible from anywhere. So that this application is pretty awesome. The last application on our list is known as Colony. It's a very weird name for what the application does, but basically it allows you to install applications, not directly from the watch itself, but you can actually check out applications directly from your smartwatch. So if you're not doing anything on here, you can jump into this application and then be able to see what the latest applications for Android Wear are. So I just jumped into the hot list. There you go, Wear for Swarm, there's a Street Art. See, why do you even need my videos? You have this application right here. <laughs> no guys, I need you guys though and 2048 and then you can actually add it to a wish list directly on an application on your phone or you can open it on your phone i'm going to go back for a second and show you guys what else you can see you can see uh sorry if i move that um you can see a little description on what the application can do and you can see images of what the application looks like so basically take google play shove it into a very very simplistic in interface and that is the application you get once again this application is known as blue colony colony um, whatever you type into google play it should show up all right, ladies and gentlemen, if you truly enjoyed this video, go ahead and slam the like button because that makes me really happy. And don't forget to share your love in the comment section below with all the awesome applications that you guys want to see reviewed in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me, locking off. Chat.